Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and if any of you watched the KOF video earlier that I uploaded, you know exactly what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be giving away gift cards because we reached that 10,000 subscriber mark. I'm super happy. Uh, I really appreciate all the support from all of you. Thank you so much. Some of you have been with me for a very, very long time. You've stuck with this channel. And I really do just, I just want to say thank you. I've honestly, I really never know what to say in these kinds of things when I'm thanking people because words really can't express uh, how I feel about it. But this is my way of showing my appreciation. So we're going to do the same thing that we did in KOF. And for those of you that didn't watch the KOF videos, because I know some people don't watch those videos, and that's completely cool. I know some people are here for Marvel Future Fight, some people are here for KOF, some people are here for both. But we'll just go through the process again. So all you have to do to participate in this event is put hashtag and then your Marvel character. So for example, hashtag Thor, hashtag Loki, hashtag Odin, uh, hashtag Black Widow, and so on and so on. Now the thing about this is I can only do 50 different Marvel characters names. And I'll put up the list right now. And as you can see, we have Captain America, Red Skull, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Hulk, Whiplash, Ironmonger, Thor, Loki, Odin, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Malekith, Winter Soldier, Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Groot, Rocket Raccoon, Ronin, Yondu, Ultron, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Ant-Man, Wasp, Yellow Jacket, Black Panther, War Machine, Spider-Man, Vulture, Mysterio, Killmonger, Doctor Strange, Ancient One, Kaecilius, Dormammu, Ghost, Thanos, Corvus Glaive, Ebony Maw, Proxima, Call Obsidian, Sith, Nick Fury, Agent 13, Coulson, Deadpool, Wolverine, and Hela. All of these characters are from the movies, and all of them are from the Marvel movies, except for Deadpool and Wolverine. Those were owned by different studios, but because those two characters are so popular, I decided to go ahead and put them in here. So you'll have to pick one of these characters. Put hashtag Deadpool or hashtag Coulson or hashtag Agent 13 and so on. Put those in the comments. And what we're going to do is, let me bring it up. So we have this wheel and I have all 50 of those characters names in this wheel. So if you put say, so we'll go ahead and spin this and it landed on Winter Soldier. So if you put hashtag Winter Soldier, uh, then you are going to be chosen to be used in a random number generator with anybody else that picked Winter Soldier to get the Google gift card. So it's a two-step process. In this specific video, all I want you to do is put hashtag whatever character from this wheel. Make sure they're from this wheel. If you use a different character that isn't on this wheel, uh, it won't pick you. Um, you know, unfortunately, I could just only put 50 names on this. So it is what it is. I'm sorry if I couldn't put your favorite character on here. But I just try to stick with the movies for the most part. And in the next video, I will announce who the winner will be. I'll spin the wheel and show you the name that was picked. And then I'll use the YouTube comment picker to choose out. So again, the way it's going to work is for this video, put hashtag a character from this wheel, you know, hashtag Wolverine, hashtag Hella, hashtag Red Skull, and so on and so on. Make sure you capitalize the first letter of their name. If it's like Black Widow, make sure you capitalize the B and the W, and so on and so on. Just like how I have it, I have it wrote in the wheel. I don't really know if that's going to make a difference with the YouTube comment picker, but if it does, just make sure you do that. For example, you're looking at Winter Soldier. I have the W and the S capitalized. Make sure you do that. I do have a gap there between Winter Soldier. Make sure you do that as well. Just type it the same way that I have it on the list. The way this can work is you're going to have a 0.5% chance of picking the right character. If you do end up picking the right character, then say there's 10 people that I'm going to use in the YouTube comment picker. So say say 10 people picked Winter Soldier and I'll use the YouTube comment picker. It'll choose between those 10 people on who's going to get the Google gift card. So at first you're only going to have a 0.5% chance of getting in there, but then after that, you might have a higher chance. If only three people pick the same name, then you're going to have a 33% chance of getting the Google gift card. If one person picks a name, then you got a 100% chance of getting the Google gift card. If I roll this wheel, spin this wheel, and a name is picked, and nobody put it in the comments, I'll just spin the wheel again until we get a name that is in the comments. 
And it's going to be a $25 gift card. All you have to do is contact me in Discord. The link will be in the description below. But again, for this video, just make sure you put hashtag the character's name. And then in the next video, in tomorrow's video, I will announce who the winner will be. I will be giving away three Google gift cards for Marvel Future Fight. I'm also giving away three more Google gift cards for KOF. So I said this in the KOF video. If you're a KOF player and you just like to watch the Marvel Future Fight videos, you can always enter in it here. If you're a Marvel Future Fight player and you want to and you just watch the KOF videos, you can enter in the KOF videos. It doesn't matter, but whether you win a Marvel Future Fight video or a KOF video, you can only win once. Only one time. I'm giving out a total of 6 of these gift cards, 3 for each game. But I know a lot of the same people I watch both games, so you can only win it once so hopefully all that made sense uh hopefully that wasn't too confusing at all so let's take a look at my gladiator oh gladiator now i've upgraded his build because i was really curious to see what he could do the only thing i've changed is i put a ctp of rage on him however i gotta tell all of you that i just find him underwhelming like he isn't as good as he should be he's one of those characters like he's good in pvp he's Good against Proxima, Quicksilver, and Corvus, which is, you know, it's pretty good. But he's just, he's in a place where he's just not good enough for anything, you know. He's second to everybody at most things. He's not number one at anything. So it kind of sucks, honestly, that you spend 85 million in gold, and then if you take his potential up, I mean, 85 million in gold just to get him to six stars, get him to level 60 and only get his gears at level 5. It's insane, the cost of this character. And again, I've, I've said this before, I love Gladiator, that's why I built him. Plus, I wanted to show you all the content with this guy. But he just, in my opinion, he just isn't good enough for the cost. But he has 36,000 physical attack, he has 127 attack speed, 128 attack speed, he has 50 crit rate, he has 168 critical damage. I believe that crit rate is going to be maxed out from one of his skills. I believe it's 4 skill. He has max ignore defense, max skill cooldown. He does have the leadership tag, which we will not be utilizing today. All of his gears are amplified. I do have those empty slots there, but he does have 5 star physical attack urus, and then he's got some critical damage urus on him, especially since he has that rage. And. He has a fully awakened Power Bank Rehawk set, and of course he's got the CTP of Rage. Now what we're going to do today is we're just going to take old boy against Master Mold. And that means that his all defense down is not going to apply. So this will actually give us an idea of how strong he is. We're not going to use any support other than Wasp to give us that debuff removal. That way we don't get mind control and kill anybody or anybody else kills us. So let's get into the action and let's rock and roll. So here we are and I want to give a big shout out to Wolverine there and YVD for joining me. I asked these guys to bring some weak teams in here to see what we could do with Gladiator because we want to see how much damage this guy can do without that all defense down from that fist skill. And because we're going to run with the Rage, I'm going to use a little bit different rotation against Master Mold. Now we're just using Gladiator, we're just going to have his 55% all attack leadership, and we just got Wasp for that support to have that debuff removal, and Sister Grim just for fodder. And I'm hitting a 3 to get the damage accumulation, I hit the 5, and once he slams down, he will get some residual damage from the 5th skill, and then I go into the 4th. Whether or not this is a the best rotation, I'm not really sure, I almost think I'd be better off just to hit the 4 first to get the damage bumps. But I'm trying to get it to where the proc will land with the combination of the 5th skill and the 4th skill together. But something you'll notice is he doesn't trigger the proc very often, which kind of sucks. Now there he triggered it, we slam down, we hit the 4th skill, and it's not too bad a damage, it's actually fairly decent. Uh, today the master mode is a speed, so we actually have the type advantage also. So we should be doing even that much more damage. And it's not too bad. It looks pretty decent. The damage is all right. But I really think for a native tier 2 epic quest character, he should just be, he really should be just better in my opinion. I mean, I, I just feel like he's a bit underwhelming. And, and this is coming from someone that loves Gladiator. You know, I mean, I just, 
I don't know. I just don't see the. I don't think I don't see the cost to reward here. I don't see it. It's just not. It's just not worth it to me, which really sucks for me to say that. But I will say he is cool to play. He is fun to play. I do like watching him fly up in the air from that fist skill and slam down. That is cool. Watch him jump up and he slams down. Boom. And then we go into the four. And I love the way his four skill looks. It looks awesome against Master Mold. Something about when you face these giant GBRs. Hopefully one of these days we'll get some future GBRs that are, you know, some different ones. That would be sweet because, man, they, are, they really are fun. And ever since they lowered the uh, enhancement for the legendary battles, it just makes it that much more fun to come in here and do this. But I really wish they'd give us a little bit different rewards in here uh, to play this. You know, like Mandalay Gems or something, that'd be kind of cool. Even if it was just five Mandalay Gems and you could only do it, you know, two times or three times a day, that would still give some incentive to play. Something like that. But... You know, it, it's probably not going to happen. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. But Gladiator, I mean, he's doing okay. You know, he's a character that would I would bring in here and play Master Mold, but that's, honestly, that's not really saying a whole lot for a character of this caliber or a character that's supposed to be of high caliber. But still not too bad. We haven't even reached the three-minute mark. And I'm not even really sure how much damage the other guys have done. Come on, come on. Proc, there, proc triggered at the end, bastard. Yeah, he's definitely doing a lot more damage from that fourth skill uh, face and mass mode. At least that's what it looks like to me. We'll slam down. We're going to miss our proc completely. Proc's going to come here at the end, probably. Okay, it didn't trigger. We'll just stand in front of Master Mole. There we go. Let's see how much damage we did. Thank you. So we did 58% of the damage in a little over three minutes. So easily, just by himself, he could do this. But this is with a CTP of Rage, obviously. I mean, even with a regular damage proc, he could have done this. But it really isn't, especially since he had the type advantage, it really isn't all that impressive. But I wish all of you good luck on the Google gift card giveaway, again, remember to put hashtag whatever character is on that list, on that wheel, in the comments, so you have a chance to win some moolah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.